it's Sam, and I'm making this video about the full moon in Aries that will happen on November 14th, Monday, November 14th. So, this full moon happens um, in the early morning hours of November 14th um, here in the U.S. And it's where the, where the moon is in Aries, very last degrees of Aries, and the sun is in the last degrees of Libra. So, the full moon is that opposition point. So, sun is in Libra, where it's at its lowest um, level of confidence, so to speak. When the, when the Sun is in Libra, we're less um, personally, um, you know, feeling less personally powerful. Could have been a time where you're maybe sleeping a little bit more, digestion isn't as strong, physical vitality feels a bit lower. And psychologically or emotionally, we're less personally confident and personally motivated, which is the nature of Aries. So th this full moon is to harmonize that, to bring in that contrast. So when we have the full moon in Aries, we're kind of psychologically and, and emotionally full of that lesson and ready to maybe kind of express it strongly. Um, and in the Aries, you know, in the case of Aries, it's about saying, okay, I'm done compromising, I'm ready to f get fired up. And so we may, you know, see quite a bit of that um, as we lead up to that full moon, especially over the weekend, Saturday, Sunday. Um, we, we may feel that real fired up kind of feeling. Now, of course, so I live in the United States. We're, we just concluded an historic, and many people are quite disturbed by the recent election of Donald Trump, and there's been protests in the street. I have a feeling that those protests this weekend will increase. Um, the moon goes into Aries on you know, the early part of Saturday, Saturday, um, you know, like early Saturday. So by Saturday night, Saturday, November 12th, I'm sorry, November 13th, there will be um, protest. Um, I, I think that we could experience some real sort of protests and uh, you know, that kind of ex expression, that, that kind of um, explosion of, um, you know, pent-up frustration and aggression. And so, it, what's also happening is that the moon is going to, I'm sorry, Mars is going to be aspecting the moon as it goes through Aries. So we're going to have Mars aspecting the moon as it goes through Aries. And that aspect onto the moon will also tend to shake things up. And again, because the moon is going to be so bright, it'll be opposite the sun. It, when the moon is bright, we're really full of that emotion. So we're going to be very full of that Aries emotion. And again, you can see it in your personal life. You may feel some real uh, you know, personal frustration and aggression and you might say, you know, perhaps hostility toward others and frustration about having to compromise, frustration about feeling like the nice guy or something. Again, on a social cultural level, we may definitely experience this um, social unrest and outcry um, here in the U.S. after the election. Now, the moon will be close to its exaltation point um, when it becomes full. Um, early Monday morning, um, and that means that um, this nakshatra of Kritika, it's at the last degrees of Aries, and it's literally, it's it's literally called the cutter. So it's where we, we have to cut through our illusions. So in the midst of all the stuff that's been happening in the world, and um, you know. Obviously, the you know the U.S. isn't the center of the world, 
but it, uh, it's been shocking for the world as well to realize that this very powerful country now has someone so unpredictable and divisive and it's kind of has sort of the world a little bit on edge you know it's a good time to really introspect and remember the source of everything and understand that in one way or another cosmic wisdom is ex expressing itself maybe it's to just come and clear everything out we don't really know at this point and so the point is the moon in Kritika cuts through our emotional stuff so this moon is very this full moon is very close to its exaltation so it's definitely possible that we can see through our fears our worries and connect to something more compassionate um, you know and then uh, the actual full moon happens early on Monday again so all day Sunday the moon will be in the Purnima in the full in its full moon phase and then on Saturday it's still very bright but then later on in, on Monday the moon goes into Taurus excuse me and we'll hopefully start to feel some more you know um, settled energy and more peace the um, you know a few other factors here again as I say Mars is now exalted so we're ready to um, destroy those things that we think are making us weak again this is what's also making for some potential combativeness right now and um, we also have Venus and Sagittarius which is really aligning us with higher teachings higher principles and you know finding a sort of love in those higher teachings higher principles um, and you know maybe being less kind of focused on getting all turned on and stuff the uh, Venus had gone from Libra where there was a lot of relationship joy into Scorpio where there was some intensity and passion now in Sagittarius it's more about um, like finding beauty in pursuing truth so it's definitely good for that and we have Mercury Saturn in Scorpio you know Mercury went into Scorpio right on election night the Mercury had been in Libra and then as Mercury was changing signs that day it went into Scorpio which showed a kind of unexpected result I would say but you know Mercury is going to continue through Scorpio where our thinking is a lot more emotional it's good for creative things like creative writing and sort of using our imagination but it's also where we can be kind of paranoid so we need to be really careful with getting too paranoid and carried away with even like the implications of the elections and things like that especially as it gets closer to Saturn um, we have to not lose discrimination and not just expect the worst that the world's coming to an end and whatnot we got some time and there's some stuff that could really shift a lot of things and there's a lot of positive possibilities right now as well I've done some videos on that and I hope you look at those on my YouTube channel and um, I'll be doing some more and Jupiter is in Virgo which also shows bringing some real precision into our into what inspires us so rather than just sort of being inspired in a kind of abstract way we're looking for more precision um, and especially from our teachers and from our um, you know from those things that really connect us with um, a higher purpose so if you want to see how this full moon in Aries affects your sign you want to check out the forecast for all 12 signs that's a part of my Vedic Astrology training lab when you sign up for that you also get forecasts every day for at least two weeks if you want to stay a member which most people do then you can just remain a member um, and stay a member as long as you like people usually stay members for you know six months years at a time but try it out and I also give forecasts for all 12 signs on the new moon cycles on the full moon cycles I also do two live Facebook updates every week on 
Tuesdays and Fridays you can you can log in in real time with me and have a have a video call with me um, Facebook live check-in and I answer people's questions all the time it's a good uh, you know it's a good community there so for now if you want to check that out only 50 cents there's a link here to check that out and you know register so um, besides that we all need to stay cool stay hopeful and um, you know check out the Vedic Astrology Training Lab if you want to get more information.